Two Legs Are One, a folk tale retold by Josefa Sherman. One day, a hungry man named Goa was walking in the marketplace, his mind on dinner to come when he chanced to pass a butcher shop. There, hanging right in front of Goa's eyes, were two nice, meaty calf legs, every bit as tasty looking to him as a good leg of lamb might be. He grew more hungry with every moment of looking, and at last brought them and scurried home. Wife, come cook these as quickly as you can, and I'll go back to the market and buy some rice to go with them. The calf legs cooked quickly indeed, and when Goa's wife took the lid off the pot, she saw that they were done and wonderfully well, so wonderfully well that the smell of them was sweeter to her than any rose. I'd better taste one, she told herself, just to be sure they're done, of course, just to taste. Ah, but the meat was tender and perfectly cooked. She took a second taste, a third, and suddenly there was nothing more to taste. She had eaten the entire calf's leg. The wife worried. I can't tell Goa how greedy I was, but what am I to tell him? Just then, Goa returned home. I have the rice here, wife. Come, bring the calf legs and let us eat. To his surprise, the dish his wife brought from the kitchen held one leg and one leg alone. Where is the second leg? Goa asked. What second, second leg? His wife replied. Here is only one. There were two legs. There was only one leg. There were two. One, two, one. So there they were arguing so loudly it frightened the pigeons off the roof. I will prove to you that there were two legs, Goa shrieked. I will win this argument, even if it means my very life. There was only one leg, his wife shrieked back. One leg. There was two, Goa shouted. But in the next moment, he clutched at his chest, gasping. My heart. Oh, my heart. With that, Goa fell to the floor, pretended to be dead. His wife at first thought this must surely be another one of her husband's tricks, but when he remained so very still, she burst into tears and called the undertaker. Goa was carried from the house with great care. The funeral procession round its slow, dignified way through the marketplace, on its way to the cemetery, and everyone came running to see if the great tricky Goa was indeed finally dead. At last the procession passed the butcher shop. The butcher came out to see who had died, but by now such a crowd had gathered that he could see nothing. But who has died, he asked loudly. Goa, came the answer from several mouths. Goa, the butcher explained. But how can he be dead? He just bought a pair of calf legs from me. On hearing this, Goa sat bolt upright. You see, he cried to his wife in triumph, there were two legs. I win our argument. The end.